some shoulder stretches. Grab a foam pad, stand with your feet hip width apart, hold the foam pad with your hands on the front so that your wrists are long. Hold right to the edge so that you're trying to keep the hands as wide as the shoulders. Now feel the centre of your heels on the floor, stretch the balls of the feet and the toes forward, engage the leg muscles. Exhale, raise the arms up so we're keeping the elbows firm, outer upper arms firm and reaching the arms up. Exhale, bring the arms down. And again, raise the arms up. Breathe in, take the arms up, press the shoulder blades in. Exhale, arms down. Take care that you're keeping the outer upper arms gripped in and that you're not doing it with the elbows flopping out to the side. So don't let the elbows flop out. Keep the arms firm. Feel how your breathing and the repetition is helping to get openness in your armpits and movement in the shoulder blades. Keep your eyes open and then hold and breathe and arms down. Now hold your block behind you, hold it on the outside this time. And then notice these bits, the shoulder bones, they can tend to come forward and the chest drops. So we're holding the block and rolling those shoulder bones back and then squeezing the upper arms in and raising the arms up. So when you do this, you get a lovely feeling of the shoulder muscles drawing down the back and the shoulder blades pressing in. So again, we can do a couple of repetitions, but not taking the arms too high. Raise the arms, raise the arms raise the arms because we want to make sure that these shoulder bones are still back and that we're not going like this. Yeah, we shoulder bones back, legs firm and lift, 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 lift and hold. Coccyx in thighs back, chest up, breathe, eyes open and arms down. Leave your block, grab a belt, open it out. So it's as long as it is. For those with stiff shoulders, go for your hands wide so that you're making a V shape. Again, be on the centre of your heels, engage your leg muscles, stretch the toes forward. Now raise your arms up, keeping the elbows firm so that the elbows are not bending out to the side to make a U. We're trying to go for a V. So raise the arms up as if we're holding a banner. Eyes open, armpits open, face open, chest open. Keep that lift arms down. Once more. And down. So if you're stiffer in the shoulders, stay with your hands wide. Otherwise now go to having the hands shoulder width apart. So it's this outer upper arm muscle, the tricep that has to grip in. And you're very slightly pulling the belt apart, which helps this outer upper arm to press inwards. Be on your heels, stretch the balls of the feet forward, the toes forward, and reach up. Breathe. Exhale down. So if there's stiffness, you don't have to force and hold there in discomfort. Go slowly, steadily, consciously, raising the arms, squeezing those upper arms in. See if you can do a few repetitions at the speed that's helpful for you, but making sure that you're keeping the thighs back as you reach up. Don't, don't let the thighs hang forward because that will go into the lower back. A few more times, breathing, raise the arms. And hold. Feel as if your little finger side is very slightly coming forward towards me. The thumb side of the hand is very slightly going back 
which is giving a spread in those upper arms, gripping the outer upper arms in as you stretch them up. And bring your arms down and now take that belt and hold it behind. Then stretch the belt back and roll the shoulders back. Similar to how we were doing with the block. But can you see that because the hands are shoulder width apart, ra rather than a bit narrower, it's a bit easier. And then you can also lift the little finger side up bring the thumb side towards your body and that turns the upper arm outward. So thumbs in, little fingers back, upper arms turn. But make sure the eyes of the elbow are pointing in towards each other. And breathe. and release. One more with a belt. You're going to put the clasp of your belt and make it shoulder width apart and have the buckle near your wrist. If you're really stiff in the shoulders, if your arms don't straighten at all, then do take it much wider. So again, you're doing a V shape. So stand in your Tadasana, mountain pose, but feet apart. Be on the center of your heels. Engage the thigh muscles. Stretch the arms forwards, reaching into the little finger side of the arm. Make the arms sharp. Eyes of the elbows face each other. And now keep stretching up. And notice the tendency for those arms to bend outwards. Don't let them. Squeeze the outer upper arms in. And as you reach up, feel this lovely lift out of your waist, the length in your back. And breathe here. Little finger side drawing in, thumb side turning out. So those upper arms, outer upper arms are coming forward. Biceps are rolling out. And bring your arms down. Now repeat that one if you're quite new to this work. But if you're a more intermediate practitioner, then you can bring the belt now to your elbows. So again, stretch the arms forward and then start to stretch up. Lift the armpits up, outer upper arms up, but draw the inner upper arms down. Now my belt's a little bit too wide, so I'm going to tighten it a tiny bit. You might need to do the same. And then repeat, lift up. If you feel to do Tadasana with your feet together now, feel this outer shin squeezing in, front of the pelvis lifting up, sides of the body ascending, jaw relaxed, eyes open, exhale, arms down. So this brings us to Vrikshasana, tree posture. So it's the last of this little practice. If you can't balance on one leg, then feel free to use a wall. So you've got your hands on the wall behind you. Raise up your right leg and place the foot on the inner thigh. Again, hold the wall. Make your buttocks firm, push your foot into the thigh, the thigh into the foot. And then if you can balance, now stretch your arms up as if you've got the block between the hands the belt around the wrists. Grow tall, breathe. And release, Tadasana. Let's do the other side. Hold the wall, raise up the other leg, bring the foot right up high to the top of the leg, and now firm the outer buttocks, lift the chest and then stretch up the wall. If you can only do it with your hands on the wall, then just take the arms out to the side because you can still hold the wall. Otherwise, stretch the arms forwards and up, belt round the wrists, belt round the elbows, 
You feel how with the arms sharp, you grow taller, 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 but keep that big toe of the standing leg pressing down for stability. Keeping the height, arms down, leg down. Now you can lie down in a few minutes Shavasana, or you can continue with another practice. <laughs>